Well, hello, retail traders. Sunday, March 20th, 2022. And it was a wonderful week last week. We had to contend with the continuous geopolitical news of Russia and Ukraine. Um, it's still, I think it still can get out of hand. Words, you know. And then we had to deal with the rate increase of the feds on Wednesday, which was positive for the market. And also, we had to deal with the quad witching, which was on Friday. But it happened during most of the week, I think. It was, to me, a pretty good week all around, if you ask me. The pullback on Monday and then just the constant rebound. So we're going to kind of look at the indices, but I want to kind of look at something here first we'll, and get a picture of what I'm looking at. This is the fear map that I like to trade off of. And this was the week that I was saying, you know, we were going to be down here and we were going to determine if it was the best time for investing. And I think it was. It was so good that it, it ran up so fast. It kind of ran up too fast. So people were piling on. And when they pile on, I hope they pile on for the continuation. But there's one thing that we do have to break. And I'm going to pull up the four stocks that I do look at every morning. And these are my indices. I look at the IWM, the QQQ, the SPX, and the SPY. I notice that every one of them broke the 20-day resistance levels. For example, here on the IWM, it broke 205.40. The QQQ broke resistance of 349.18. These are just rough numbers on the 20-day. This one broke a triple top, the SPY, at 440.59 area. And then we got the SPX that broke last week and Friday at 44.06.27 on the 20-day. So I'm going to pull up the SPY. And I'm going to show you what I was looking at kind of here. Let's see what time frame we got. We'll pull up the yearly. This is the yearly time frame. So we've had a real, real good sell-off here in the last three months. We've been just nothing in a, in a linear cha downward channel. Now, the linear channel is where I take my sneaky snake trade off of. And last week, we did nothing but run up after we had that dip on Monday. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. We did so well that we run up here and almost hit the 200 SMA. So that got me thinking that maybe we hit a resistance level. I have a resistance level to break here at 446.78. If we can get up around there, we'll see if we can break that number. Now, if we can break four, you know, I'm, we're going to be off a few cents. 446.75, 78, somewhere around that area. If it does pause and pull back a little bit, it could pull back to the top of this here candle right here maybe find support at 441 440 91 to be exact but somewhere right around 440 441 but i like that 441 if that holds these three white ukrainians right here which in technical terms you call them three white soldiers and there's your hammer so this was a nice nice breakout last week so nice that it was overextended it ran up and hit resistance at the 200 and that's the spy so if we break past that we'll definitely get up here to 450 451 and then we'll try to find a new resistance i was kind of wanting to see us go sideways but now that we broke out of that box this is the box that i charted here in the room last week and we broke out of it so that's bullish now we just got to break another major resistance on the daily. So that's a SPY. And then we've got the IWM. She's next on the list. IWM. We're going to look at it the same kind of way. You've got the sneaky snake, the linear channel going down. Same kind of breakout. Uh, 
get this channel in here. Just <laughs> twice I've done that now. So we'll remove it one more time. Boom. There's your linear channel down, and we definitely broke out. So that thing would have to come back too a little bit, but we did break a major resistance right here. Let's go ahead and move this up. This is the IWM. So that major resistance is right around, somewhere right around the 20650 area. 20650. And the next resistance is going to be up here to this next area right up in here, right up there at 210.63. So that could be our next resistance. And our say our solid support that needs to hold is going to be no lower than 203.67. If that holds, we're going to be pretty good. We're going to still be bullish or stay above the 50. See the 50 SMA? If we stay above that, we're still going to be bullish. And we'll probably struggle up here or go ahead and break out to the next resistance. Now, like I said, I'm semi-bearish. I am a little bearish going into Monday. A little pullback maybe and consolidate and then see how it goes. But we had such a great run. These are continuation patterns on a normal day. You get three white soldiers like this. That's just an idea that we need to consolidate to the right and then exceed on up to the next level. And that's what I'm hoping we do this week, that we do stay in the boundaries, at least into that first candle and maybe half of the second one right here. But we can always pull back to the top of this channel and then bounce up off it too. So yeah, I can always keep a good eye on these and just watch the trend and play the trend that way. I determine the daily support so if I'm looking at like the minute time frame, if this thing pulls down and holds right here at 206.50, I'm still bullish in the trade. That's still bull. I'm still a bull. The next support's going to be right down in here where you have this other. So then I start getting very interested down here. If it does pull back to 204.51, to me that's going to be a strong buy. That's where we had that high pre-market. So that's kind of how I look at it. If we were following the trim down, some bad news comes in, you know, Russia keeps up and China gets involved. Or we break resistance, and that's going to be, if we break past 207.76, 77, the run's still good. I'm going to take it. If she breaks out, pulls back, that'll become the first support. So that's the IWM. So in other words, she's still on watch, but they've all had a great run. And when you see the three white soldiers, such as you see right here, and we did break resistance, which was that red line at 206.50, she can run on up and break at 207.77, and we might be on a good run to 210. That, or she pulls back to this lower channel of support right here, right around 205. And that needs to hold to stay bullish. So we got the QQQ. Same kind of trick. You got the linear channel. You got the three white uh, Ukrainians running into the 200 or into the 50. So that 50's got a break. That resistance level is right up in here. Boom. Right there. If we break 352.94, that's the pivot point. On the yearly chart plus you got the 50 as a confirmation we could run easily up here to this next level of right around 359 and then strong to there if this starts to really take off that's a good looking chart right there on the QQQ very good looking chart there's your linear channel your snake you got the 9 crossing the 21 that's the 9 EMA the 21 SMA, you got the three white soldiers running into the 50, so that has to break to continue the run. Definitely liking this, the QQQ. 
same thing right here with the SPX. Same kind of pattern, same soldiers, and we got to break the 200. Simple as that. If we break the 200, your hard resistance is right there, and that's going to be at 450267. If that breaks, she should be able to easily run up here somewhere in that area, right around the, what is that? 458832. Support is going to be right down here. That needs to hold. 440178. If that holds, you're still bullish. You run it back up to the 200. You play with that 200, that 200 is your resistance. Once you break it, you're bullish. Then you become support. That's a pivot point on the daily. So, yeah, everything looks real good. We just got to be patient. We had an irrational exuberance last week. We <laughs> had a lot of, uh, it was a pretty easy call last week. I always keep bringing the perspective of looking at the daily on these here, saying if we had to break a certain level, if we broke a certain level, then we'd be bullish. And now we're at resistance. So remember that we're at resistance and we need another catalyst to break out. And right now the catalyst is momentum. And we've got two real bad things behind us, and that was interest rates. And then we got the uh, quad witching funds people are going to start investing i'm looking for a good second half of the year unless brandon or someone else messes up and we'll see it from there so everybody have a great tomorrow and that's it retail traders sneaky snake trading strategy and always remember to keep this map around when people start feeling down, you might want to start looking at your stocks and seeing if you can find some good buys. That's some of the best advice I can give anybody. Remember, when everybody's down, don't be a clown. I'm always around, and you can give me a call. I'm easy to connect to. Hit that like, subscribe button, and we'll see you later.